This is all I know, construction. I've been in the industry for 16 years and to be honest with you, lately I've been getting a little bit too excited because the industry is getting sexy. You ask most people to describe the construction industry and for the most part they're going to say it's dirty, stressful, extreme and somewhat unappealing. And to be honest with you, they're not far wrong. But whilst this is true, you've got to throw into the mix. It's exciting, it's rewarding, and it's challenging. So why a couple of years ago did I become so disheartened with the construction industry? Well, to be honest with you, there's certain elements of construction that just really don't seem to be evolving, both on the technical side and on the processing side, along with project management. But don't get me wrong, I see lots of amazing products and developments and processes all talked about on the internet, they're on YouTube, they're on people's LinkedIn, but I'm actually not seeing any of this filter down onto site. Think about the way we build houses here. Now things changed in the last 16 years that I've been working. It seems to be the same processes, building materials and the way the projects are generally managed. And this is why I got really disheartened with the industry. So if there's lots of new tech out there, processes and materials, why aren't they being filtered down onto site? Number one, which is a hot topic in the UK at the moment, financing. I don't really believe this one. I am a firm believer that right now in the UK, there is so much money from the UK government being thrown in construction projects that financing just really isn't a good enough excuse. So here's my two pence. I think it's a combination of the following. Stubbornness, resistance to change, and the lack of time invested in communication. So if you've ever worked on a construction site, you'll know it's fast paced, it's extreme. Everything moves at a pace that is just unexplainable. And when you're working on a project, you don't really have any other time to start researching different methods of doing things or even new materials. And this is probably the same for every construction worker, whether you're on the ground or whether you're in higher management. Time is of the essence and we're just not given any time to look elsewhere or think about other processes. Problem number two is the companies that are developing these new materials, ways of working, they are normally external to any other construction company. And so they're working on what they think the construction industry needs. And very rarely do they actually communicate down to the guys on the ground or the project managers what it is they're working on and then getting direct feedback from those guys as to whether it'll actually benefit their work on site. And this brings me nicely on to communication, the third problem. I myself have been on huge projects here in the UK and I've seen when we've had presentations to higher management that information just doesn't filter down. It doesn't get down to engineers so they can make a comment on whether they would like to you know, try this new product or process. It just stops at the top. And that's probably again due to problem number one, which is time. And this is crazy, but I do think things are slowly changing. And that's why I've had a change of heart. And I'm slowly getting excited about where the construction industry is going in 2022 and beyond. I've seen the light, guys. Yes, even for my own clients, I've been doing things like drone surveying, creating point clouds, hosting all my work online so that clients have a full on 24 access to it. And having these things wouldn't have been possible if new technologies and software weren't being invented all the time. I'm excited because I've seen things like virtual headsets, where you walk out onto site, put a headset on, and you can visually see what is going to be built on that construction site right in front of your eyes. That is incredible. I've seen machines that can take the danger out of manual labor and robots that can assist engineers. Materials that are so much better for the environment. But finally, I am seeing companies that are open to communication. Companies that aren't just developing a product and then expecting the industry to uptake on it. No, I'm seeing them directly contact construction companies, get in there, talk to the engineers, and then have this two-way conversation that is making a real difference. Like I said before, I spent this year concentrating on how I can provide my clients a better solution. The idea of providing a 2D CAD survey or design model in the future is just crazy when you can actually see what software is doing out there with 3D models. Now I know BIM has been around for a long time, AutoCAD 3D, but I'm talking about integrated platforms where you can actually go in and immerse yourself in a project 
I am so excited to see what the future holds for construction now. And it is, it's getting a little bit sexy. And that's why I'm also excited to be joining forces with PQS Tech. Uh, the sponsors of this video today, they too are looking forward to the future of construction and we're developing some pretty exciting things. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video this week. And please go ahead, subscribe, like, and down in the comments, tell me what you're seeing out there which gets you excited about construction. And if you think there's anything else that we can do to help provide a better environment for the future on site, in offices, with project management, I'd love to hear your thoughts.